Welcome to another episode of Popel's Talk. As you can see, we're post-practice with uh, a gentleman that y'all probably already know. Uh, I'll introduce him, Pels 2021 first round draft pick, the 2023 dunk contest runner up, sorry man, uh, youngest player ever to score or have 50-40-90 in the NBA. I'm in. From Bull City, yeah. North no, Carolina. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, make sure we get that right. All right, you're no. not from Bull City? so it's I'm not. not from Cary. That's what I was making sure we didn't say. Okay, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Trey Murphy the third. Appreciate, Appreciate you, it. man. Appreciate you, my guy. So, off the court a little bit, you retired your jersey. Like, did you ever think that that was like a possibility when you left high school? Um, I thought it was a possibility. I mean, obviously, I didn't know how quickly it would you know, come to fruition, but I'm just grateful for it. I think for me, like for me, I just wanted to make sure I just kept putting one foot one foot in front of the other, kept getting better each day, and uh, that was my main focus. Well, I guess one of the conversations you had with a reporter, uh, you said you wanted to stick with your process. It kind of leads me into you know maybe a little bit of the struggles you've had maybe this season. You tore your meniscus during the summer. You kind of had to fight through that. Went through some a little bit of a shooting slump. Now you're kind of back. Like I guess that kind of holds true to you know sticking to your process. How would you kind of grade yourself with sticking to your your own process? No, I mean I've kept the same mentality the entire time. Like I just know that I work hard and I know I try to play the game the right way. And so. Is going to reward you, and I know that for me, like that's just work every time. Like, there's been times in my life where I've struggled through, you know, basketball stuff, and I eventually come out on top. And so, I just knew that, you know, the trials and tribulations they they came for a reason, and it probably was to make me stronger. Yeah, I mean, make you stronger in the last three games. You're averaging what 21 and six. I mean, that that kind of tells you, hey, you kind of persevered through a little bit. Speaking of, more importantly, the Knicks game, right? Mm -hmm. Madison Square Garden, everybody's there. They got stars on the court. Um, how does it feel to come through in a moment and then you embrace Willie Green and he's saying, like, welcome back. How does that kind of give you confidence moving forward? And I was cool. I mean, I, Madison Square Garden, I remember, like, shoot around. I walked in and I just looked around the entire arena because I knew this was my first time I actually really get to play and, you know, have a lot of minutes to make an impact on the game. And so I just wanted to take into take in the moment. Um, one of the greatest arenas in the entire NBA. And you know, I just really love lights a lot. So, you know, it was dope. It was really cool. And, uh, you know, it was great having your coach, you know, celebrate you during those times, yeah. especially when he knows that a uh, ball just wasn't going in for me a few times, for, uh, for a little bit of time. So, you know, it was cool. I mean, he's been with you since the beginning, right? He's been yep. your only NBA coach. A lot of guys on this team probably can't say the same. Yeah. Um, how has y'all's relationship kind of been built over the last three years? You know, it's, it's definitely grown a lot. Obviously, my first year, we're both um, a little to ourselves. Like, didn't really, and uh, we interacted because obviously he's the coach, I'm the player. But uh, as time went on, as I started to progress a little more, we both have, you know, opened up and talk a lot more text and, you know, have more just one-on-one -on -one meetings to talk about, you know, life as well as the team. For sure. Uh, Y'all ran it back with the Pacers. You were getting a lot of transition looks. Uh, you had a little bit of a bounce in your step after a couple knockdowns. Uh, you're, you say you're more than a shooter. Like how, you know, does that kind of progress when you were struggling, so you were trying to get more rebounds, you're trying to play defense a little bit more. How does those times where, hey, my shot's not going down, because that happens for everybody. How does those times of like, hey, I got to do something else on the court, how does it build you as a basketball player? Uh, at Lakers game at, at their place really, um, I think that was a really important time for me because I was almost like embarrassed myself on like the defensive effort as well as just performance that I gave that game. And so from that day, I really vowed to lock in on the defensive end, be more physical, rebound the ball. And uh, I've been just trying to really just focus on that. I mean, I, I feel like I've always tried to, you know, be good on the defensive end because I don't want to be the guy that just plays on one side of the ball. I want to be a two-way player. And also Herb Jones, he's a big influence on that as well. And so. Yeah. Um, I just know from after that game, I, I really vowed to really lock in on defensive end. We talked about 50, 40, 90 a little bit. We got to talk about the free throws. And more specifically, your mom even counted, called you out a little bit. Uh, how does like your family influence you and kind of help you through these, through these times? That uh, Yeah, my, I mean, my parents, they're very consistent. I mean, my dad, he's always one that's going to 
criti be critical of what I'm doing, and my mom is gonna be a good cop, a loving person. Obviously, she has her moments where she's critical too, but they're my support system, they're my foundation, so they know uh, what I'm capable of, and they just hold me to a high standard. Speaking of support system, uh, you kind of got connected with a dude from New Orleans, uh, K-Way, he's a photographer. Y'all yeah, yeah. post a lot of videos. Uh, how is that relationship? How did it get started? Uh, it actually started because I saw his Ja Moran video, and uh, that was really popular for him. And I saw he's from New Orleans, and then he was at uh, Be Great, uh, one of our coaches, our play development coaches, he was at his camp. And when he was at his camp, he was taking pictures, and he introduced himself, and I was like, bro, I know who you are, like, yeah. I saw your video. And after that, we just became cool. I would give him tickets to the games. He would come take pictures and stuff like that. Ended up taking him to Italy with me this summer, and, well, last summer. And, uh, you know, we built a little relationship from that. For sure. Uh, speaking of Italy, uh, man, you've been in a style a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, you even connect with uh, Dan Solomon. I hope I'm saying his name yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, as the NBA stylist, but you had him at the draft night, right? Like, uh, he did a draft fit for me. That was. Uh -huh. That's probably my only style fit was the one that he. Okay, so you like you really putting this stuff on yourself? Yeah, you just, yeah. I'm okay. very I'm very like very serious about that. Like okay. I I make sure like I, I will say this. I have a personal shopper, so like there's a person that she'll find stuff and like point it out to me to see if I like it and I'll buy it. But other than that though, I like to do the shopping on my own and then like putting up putting fits together. Like I'll look at a piece and then just build around that. Top five stylist on this team uh who who's in your top five not any any specific order mm -hmm. who's in there if you want to include yourself you can okay so me number one okay and then the other four will just be fluid i'll say bi okay even though he's in my style bag a lot but bi um not jose's uh cowboy outfit no okay um right. who else Naji a little bit. He he has his own swag and he's himself. That's the biggest thing about it. Like the biggest thing for me is you gotta be yourself. And yeah. I think Naji does a good job with that. Jose, CJ. And then after that. I'm gonna say Dyson has, is starting to come into his own a little bit. His rookie year he was struggling. Yeah. And he um, I would give him probably most improved. Most improved. Because right. he's definitely taking steps in the right direction. But sure. All right. So last question, get you out of here. What are you listening to right now to get you going? It, it could be day game. It could be off night. Like, whatever it is, what you listening to right now? Before the game is listening to Rod Wave. That's been my go-to since All-Star break. Uh, he just, I don't know. I just feel a different level, level of joy and just, like, it's not so like serious, like or just like too high energy. I feel like there's times when I go into the game and I'm just too high energy or too like serious, then like it doesn't it doesn't feel right. Like I play with a lot of joy and I try to every night, and so Rod Wave's been my go-to. For sure. All right. Well, that's been an interview with Trey Murphy. Appreciate y'all supporting. Subscribe, like, do what you got to do. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. For sure. Yep. The NBA season is in full swing, and when I can't get enough of the action on the court, I spice things up by betting on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Right now, new customers can bet 5 bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code BOOT. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope and y four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash promos for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. This podcast is presented by the Birdsaw Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Propel's Talk. Birdsaw Law Firm is a family practice that has been a staple in the greater New Orleans area since 1963. Specializing in automobile accidents and slip and falls for the past 60 years, you can trust the Birdsaw Law Firm to handle your claim professionally while treating you like family in the process. The Birdsaw Law Firm is located at 918 Poitier Street near the Superdome. Give them a call today at 504 
323-5413 or message them on Instagram if you or someone you know has been involved in an accident. Be sure to mention Boot Crew Media sent you to get your free consultation today. Once again, you can reach them at 504-523-5413.